We're here today with Karen Patterson, Managing Director of Trig Mining. Karen, thanks for your time. Thank you, David. Are you able to share some of the background to Trig Mining? Yes, well, it's very new. We started the company really when we found these projects uh, seven months ago through an earning agreement. And since then, we've been expanding the tenure, drilling and being very active across that last seven months. The history of Trig Mining is Henry Trigg is one of my ancestors who arrived here in the Swan River Settlement in 1829 and was instrumental in the early infrastructure here in Perth. Trigg Island is named after him and I've named the company in honour of his pioneering spirit. And in terms of the work you've done as a private company on the assets? Yes, well we raised $1.8 million in seed and we've been very busy so the intention is to get out there quite quickly and do a lot of exploration so we've already done ground gravity the first air core drilling program which has led to an exploration target at uh, Lake Raisin. And in terms of your future plans, IPO is something under consideration? Yes, that is the next step. We uh, hope to go to IPO shortly, um, planning on next quarter. And in terms of the post IPO life of the business, what are you expecting? A uh, very busy exploration program. So we've now got 2,688 square kilometres of tenure east of Laverton and all of that will be granted by the end of the year and our first drilling program will be on the next prospect. And with all of that, so we've got, SOP is quite a different product. It's the exploration is from a waterborne resource and we've got 400 square kilometres of Salt Lake and another 265 kilometres of Paleo Channel, all full of hypersaline water. So it's a big project, something that's going to take a while to drill and do the studies, but we're very excited about what it means for the world's food supply. And what drew you to the project? Well, it's such um, a low-touch environmental aspect from a mining perspective. There's no open pit mining, there's no crushing, grinding, large electricity consumption. And when you leave, there's no tailings dams or rock waste dumps. This is water resource that already has minerals dissolved in it. And the processing is using solar evaporation and evaporation ponds. So it's quite, um, it's quite a sustainable way to mine and it's also quite organic. So the alternative to produce sulphate of potash is using a process called Mannheim, it's using autoclaves, big capital expenditure, they buy sulfuric acid to mix with the um, potassium chloride and produce a byproduct of hydrochloric acid to produce the fertiliser SOP, where we can produce it on site through evaporation of the water. And in terms of the Laverton region, is there much work going on out there outside of your project area? Oh my god, it's crazy out there. We've got three airports within 60 kilometres of our prospects. We've got two gas pipelines running through the prospects. And Laverton itself, there is just all the flights are always booked out. So it's a very busy part of the world these days. Karen, very exciting times ahead. Thanks for your time. Thank you.